Hi, kids. How are you doing? Let's have a party. Are you hungry? It's time to have a party then. We're going to read about the street party. The street party? A street party is a party in the street. It's outside. Oh, not in a busy city street. <laughs> That's dangerous. But in a neighborhood or small town on a street where many houses are, not many cars. As you can see, the street party is not really on the street, right? No cars. It's in a yard, but it's everybody who lives on the street. We can see that they, they're they ready for the party. We can see the dishes. We can see some lemonade. We can see some forks and spoons. But where's the food? Let's find out. Let's talk about food at the party. And I hope you're you're not hungry, <laughs> but if you are hungry, we're going to talk about food from different countries all over the world. Let's get started. This is Oak Street. This is Oak Street. It's the name of the street. Sounds like a very nice, clean, beautiful street. Many oak trees, right? Oak Street was having a party. So this is a story that happened in the past. Quaggle. Oak Street was having a party. These people are going to the party. Here's father, mother, and daughter. Who are they? The daughter's name is Indu. Her name is Indu. Indu lives at One Oak Street. Now, be careful here. We use at because that's the address. That's the juso, right? When you talk about the juso, the address, if you talk about the address of a house, you say you live there. I'm sorry. <laughs> address. I made, I made a mistake there. A-D-D-R-E-S. Let me do that again for you. A-D-D-R-E-S. S, they. Address. If you talk about the address, you live at the address. Indu lives at 1 Oak Street. On her house is the number 1. Okay? She lives at, at 1 Oak Street. But, address bagel, you don't know. Then you say Indu lives on Oak Street. Ah, uh, my pen. Oak Street. And I'm just going to put ST on Oak Street. Okay? So if you don't know the number, the exact address, you don't know the number, number Morgeseo, or a number you don't say it, then you say on Oak Street. But if you know the number, you know the exact address, you say at 1 Oak Street. Okay? That's the difference. Be careful. Indu lives at One Oak Street. Her family took food to the party. You can see the food that they took. They took this food. And also there's something here. This isn't food. Maybe it's food. It's a present. It's a gift. But you can see the food is here and the food is here. What is that food? They made chapatis. Chapat, I'm sorry, chapatis. It's not an English word. It's a word that comes from another country. What country is it? It's a word that comes from India. Because Hindu's family comes from India. Chapatis, chapatis are popular in India. They are popular in India. Well, what are chapatis? What are they? Well, we can see chapatis here in the picture. Does it look good? It kind of looks like bread, flat bread. Maybe not much taste to it, but let's find out more about chapatis because they are good. They are flat bread. Like I said, chapatis are flat bread. They are made from dough, made from something. What is it made from? What is it made from means what do you use to make it? Think about different things. You're sitting in a chair. What is your chair made from? Probably wood, maybe metal, 
right? What is it made from? What are the materials? What is used to make it? Dough. Dough is used to make it. Dough. What is dough? Dough is made from flour, water, and oil, right? Garu, mul, and kidum. <laughs> I'm not sure about kidum, right? Uh, not the oil you put in your car, <laughs> right? But oil. Um, cooking oil, right? Flour, garu, right? From wheat, water, of course you know water, and oil. Oil is like uh, sesame oil or cooking oil, you know, it's some type of oil. And you mix it together, you mix these things together, and you have something that's like dough. That's the dough, okay? It's like, a, it's a little wet. You can, you, it's very soft. You can make different shapes. But what they do here is they beat it. They make it flat, and they cook it. And that's how they make their flat bread. Chapatis are cooked on a hot metal plate. That's what this man is doing here. He has a hot metal plate over a fire, and he's cooking the chapatis, right? He took the dough and he pressed it. He, he, he pushed it down, made a flat, round uh, shape, and now he's cooking it on a hot metal plate. Now, if you just eat it by itself, maybe, you know, it just tastes like bread. Blah. You don't taste, you don't eat bread by itself. You want to put something on the bread. Bread is like Bread is like really a container sometimes. We, we put food inside the bread and then we eat it. But bread helps us handle the food. It helps us hold that food. And that's what's going on here. Chapatis are cooked on a hot metal plate. They are served with curries. Curries. You know curry. Indian curries. There are many kinds of Indian curries. Nomomashi soil, right? Very delicious. But curry is like a, a soup, a very thick soup. You can eat it with a spoon or you can put it on bread and eat it with the bread. Oh, that's very good. So they are served with. Served with means, especially when you talk about food. When you talk about food, say they are served with. One food is served with another food. They are served with something. They are served, curries. Curries are served with vegetables or sauces, okay? What kind of curries are there? Let's take a look. Here we have chapatis. These are our flat breads, right? Right here, chapatis, chapatis. Here are mixed vegetables, right? Mixed vegetables, mixed vegetables, many different kinds of vegetables. So maybe you have carrots, potatoes, broccoli. You have many different types of vegetables. This is curry. Curry is, like I said, it's kind of like a soup, but it's a thick soup. It's not like water. It's thicker than water. And it has pieces of meat, maybe chicken or lamb or beef inside that soup. And it's very spicy, sometimes very spicy, but very, very good flavor. Mm, very good. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Also, you have tamarind sauce. It's a special kind of sauce in India. And also coconut sauce. You know, coconut sauce. Of course, you, maybe you drink coconut milk or coconut juice, right? Or you have coconut candy. But coconut is very healthy uh, for you. It's very good food. These are very healthy foods. And you use these foods, you put them on the bread, and then you eat it. Mmm, it's very good. Okay, well, that's the food from India. Let's stop there, and I'll see you very soon.